the cross transforms suffering into life and evil into blessings. We can hold on to grudges, right? We can hold on to things that have happened to us. We can hold on to grudges, onto anger, vengeance, hatred. We can hold on to all of these things. But what they will do to us is they will eat away within and destroy us, just like the Roman crosses did to their victims. It can destroy them and destroy families and friendships and relationships. Or instead of holding on to these things that have happened to us, just like Joseph, he could have held on to his the acts that his brothers did to him. And he could have said, you know what? You're back now, you're in my territory, you're in my court. I'm going to do a lot of revenge on you. He could have done that. But rather, Joseph took all of those things and he handed them over to God. He took all of the anger that he might have had, all the vengeance he might have had, all the misfortune and mistrust and all the things that had occurred to him. And he said, you know what, God? I'm going to give these to you. I don't know why this is happening to me. I don't know how this is happening to me because I've not done anything wrong, but it's happening to me. And I'm going to hand it over to you. And I'm going to have trust that you will transform these into a blessing somehow. I don't know how, but I trust that's what's going to happen. 